Terracing Soil and Water Conservation Method You may have seen rice fields in hilly or mountainous areas that have a stepped structure like steps. This structure of rice fields is called terraces. Terracing is a soil structure designed to shorten the length of a slope and or reduce the slope of the slope by excavating and filling soil across the slope. The purpose of terracing is to reduce the speed of water flow and increase water absorption. That way, the sloping mountainous and hilly land can be used as agricultural land. Terracing can also be a way to prevent landslides. Terracing is a soil structure which is also known as swale soil. Terracing was developed on slope areas to reduce steepness. To better understand what terracing is, here is a complete review. Definition of terracing Terracing is swale land, namely land that has a structure like terraces with terraces. In fact, Terracing is a method of soil conservation by creating terraces to reduce the length of the slope. The aim of making the soil structure into terracing is to retain water, thereby reducing the speed and amount of surface flow, as well as increasing the opportunity for water absorption by the soil. Terracing is a type of soil structure that can prevent landslides in landslide-prone areas such as hillsides or mountains. So it is not surprising that terrace soil structure is a type of soil structure that is quite often found in various regions in Indonesia. Types of terracing Based on the shape of the structure, there are various types of terracing. The types of terracing are as follows, one flat terrace level terrace. A flat terrace is a ground structure built on land with a slope of less than 3% with the aim of improving water drainage and soil wetting. Flat terraces are designed by excavating the soil from the high line and the excavated soil is piled up to the outer edge, so that water can be retained and accommodated. These embankments or rice field embankments will later be planted with grass. 2. Credential Terrace Ridge Terrace Credential terraces are terracing structures made on sloping land with a slope of 3 to 10 percent. The purpose of building this terracing structure is to maintain soil fertility. Making a credential terrace begins with making a terrace reinforcement line parallel to the height line and planting it using plants such as Caliandra. 3. Contour Terrace Contour terraces are a type of terrace designed on land that has a slope of 10 to 50 percent. The purpose of building terracing is to prevent the loss of topsoil. 4. Terrace Bench Bench terraces are terraces made in Huma using a slope of 10 to 30 percent and aim to prevent erosion on slopes planted with plants. 5. Individual Terrace Individual terraces are terraces designed on land with a slope of between 30 and 50 percent. These terraces are usually built for plantation areas in areas where rainfall is limited and the ground cover is relatively good, making it possible to build individual terraces. 6. Garden Terrace Garden terraces are terraces designed on land with a slope of between 30 and 50 percent which are intended for planting areas for plantation crops. Terracing is only carried out on vegetation lines because in this area there is land that is not terraced and is generally covered by ground cover vegetation. Measuring the width of the terrace paths and the gaps between terrace paths is adjusted to the type of commodity. In making a garden terrace, the huma located between two adjacent terraces is left unmaintained. 7. Channel Terrace Terracing, better known as rarak or dead-end trenches, is a soil and water conservation technique by creating dead-end holes to absorb water into the soil and accommodate sediment from the land. 8. Stone Terrace Stone terraces are the use of stone to produce walls at synchronized intervals along contour lines on sloping slopes. Advantages and Disadvantages of Terracing The main benefit of terracing is soil and water conservation. This is because terracing is a type of soil structure that can reduce the speed of water moving across the surface of the land, thereby reducing soil erosion. Thus, terracing can help intensive plantation and agricultural processes. 
Even though it has advantages and benefits in terms of soil and water conservation, terracing is a type of artificial soil structure that also has disadvantages. The drawback is that terracing is a soil structure that cannot form naturally. In other words, to make land into terraces, it must be created intentionally by humans. The process of making terracing requires quite a lot of effort and money. It doesn't stop there, long-term maintenance also requires quite expensive costs. At this point it can be concluded that terracing is a method of soil and water conservation, which aims to reduce the rate of water flow so as to reduce erosion. In this way, the land formed with a terracing structure can be used as agricultural land. However, on the other hand, terracing is a structure that requires great effort and expense. Apart from that, it requires long-term maintenance which also requires costs.